What's up, Scoot fam? Mike, COE here at New Scooters for Less. One of the biggest questions we get asked in the showroom no, is, what is the difference between scooters at a similar price point? Uh, a few weeks ago, we did a scooter uh, comparison video of the sport style scooters, the Ventelli Sprint, the Wolf RX50, and the Scoot Star Race Star. So today we're gonna do installment number two. This is gonna be a product differentiation between the Wolf Islander, the Ventelli Escape, and the Scoot Star Honey Star. The Wolf Islander, Bentelli Escape, and Scoot Star Honey Star are classified under the retro scooter segment, and depending on the dealership and time of year, will often fall under a similar price point in the $1,200 to $1,600 range. As with their sport scooter counterparts, the vast amount of similarities between these three models can sometimes make for a tough decision as a buyer. They all come with the same one-year parts warranty from the manufacturer, the motor quality and performance are virtually identical with top speeds sitting in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range, they have similar fuel efficiency, similar deck height and seat height, and similar maneuverability. Even your basic maintenance, your oil changes, air filter cleanings, batteries and spark plugs, they're all similar. And if you purchase your scooter from New Scooters for Less, they will also come with the same one-year labor warranty on manufacturer warranty repairs and free service pickups and deliveries in the Gainesville area for as long as the scooter is on the road. But despite all their similarities, there are quite a few differentiators that can help you decide which model may best fit your needs, and that's what I'd like to share with you today. Starting with the front of the scooter, the first thing you may notice is the headlights and front blinkers. While all three models share similar halogen bulbs, the placement of the headlight assembly in the Wolf Islander and Mentelli Escape is in the middle of the scooter body, while the headlight placement on the Scoot Star Honey Star is located in the handlebars. Outside of this aesthetic difference, sometimes riders actually prefer the handlebar location because the light will always shine in the immediate direction you are turning. The Ventelli Escape and Scoot Star Honey Star have the front blinkers mounted in the standard location under the handlebars. However, the Wolf Islander blinkers are mounted in the front of the body of the scooter. This highlights the first design flaw to mention today because these blinker mounts get broken often due to tight scooter parking and accidental impact. Unfortunately, we see a lot of hanging blinkers in our service department and the frequency that they can be broken often makes it impractical to repair. Moving to the back portion of the steering column, you will find convenient cubby storage for the Scoot Star Honey Star and a small cup or item holder on the Bentelli Escape. On these models, you will also find an onboard USB charging port for your mobile accessories at this location. Adjacent to the storage cup holder on the Bentelli Escape, you will find another feature on the ignition and that is an anti-theft, anti-tamper key shield. This simple device can often deter would-be thieves from attempting to steal the vehicle and requires the unique backside of the scooter key to disable the shield. Regarding the Wolf Islander, it does not possess any extra storage, which may be inconvenient to some, but taller riders will find more comfort in the legroom that this provides. It does, however, include a USB charging port, but it's located under the seat. Accessing your underseat storage on the Escape is done through the ignition, while on the Islander and Honey Star, there's a separate seat lock. Checking out the seats, you'll notice a traditional black or brown saddle on the Wolf Islander and Scoot Star Honey Star that can generally accommodate a driver and passenger. The Escape differentiates here with a comfortable backrest for their single rider only model and the trademark white Bentelli brand embroidered on the seat. Lifting up the seats, you'll find a very similar amount of underseat storage across all three models, so there's not really much difference here. Next, you'll notice the placement of the gas caps. The Wolf Islander and Scoot Star Honey Star have their fuel tanks located directly under the seat. This is important for two main reasons, and there are things that are especially relevant in Florida, and that's moisture and heat. On these models, the seat acts as a barrier to rainfall and direct sunlight that can wear out a gas cap seal, both scenarios that may allow water to, from rainfall to infiltrate into your fuel system. The fuel tank on the Mentelli Escape is located just behind the seat and access is utilized by a locking gas cap. As we get down toward the motor comes my word of caution. No matter your scooter choice, you never want to have you or your passenger hang their legs down vertically because they could risk a muffler burn. Muffler burns can happen while riding on the back of a scooter, but due to the close proximity of scooter parking on campus at UF especially, most muffler burns actually come from accidentally brushing your leg across a different scooter's muffler. Certain models, including the Battelli Escape and Scoot Star Honey Star, have some additional heat protection by a muffler shield. This shield can still get hot, but it goes a very long way in protecting scooter riders from burns. The Wolf Islander does not feature a muffler shield. Taking a look at the back of the scooter, you see the same basic setup across all the models. The Bentelli Escape adds an interesting smoked lens on their taillight, which is pretty unique. And you can also see that all three models come equipped with storage back racks, which make adding accessories like milk crates and top boxes a breeze. 
In all, you can see that most of the important features on these scooters are similar across the board, while any differences are largely aesthetic. This means that ultimately it's largely about personal preference. After watching this comparison video, if you find you still have some indecision, I actually encourage customers to come in our showroom, sit on the scooters, and if nothing stands out still, these models offer a wide array of colors to choose from, so just pick your favorite. But really, we're always happy to answer any questions you may have, so please reach us by phone, and any of our sales rock stars will gladly help you select the scooter that best fits your needs. Hey, thanks so much for watching Scoot fam. We hope you found this comparison between the Wolf Islander, Bentelli Scape, and Scoot Star Honey Star super helpful, and we wish you the best of luck on your hunt for a brand new ride.